Hey everyone, my name is Valerie and this is what we are going to create today. This is a very very simple animation which I created using some basic shapes layers, some ellipse uh, with the blur effect. If I turn this off, you will see that there's a lot of uh, moving basics uh, shape layers with an uh, adjustment layer with the fastbox blur on it and uh, yeah this uh, will create this cool effect this animation uh, was inspired by the very cool artist and uh, Felipe Panton which creates some cool um, art installations um, when he rotates this uh, physical thing it uh, gets a small delay uh, in the rotation so this is what we are going to recreate today so first thing first let's create our first composition and name it master comp we will use a full HD a resolution with a 30 frames per second and let's make this uh, timeline uh, 20 seconds long with a black color and uh, let's set the resolution of the previous screen to full and hit OK. Great, so the first thing we need to do is we need to create the gradient composition. For this we will choose the ellipse tool and um, choose uh, some nice color bright color like this and create the ellipse uh, while holding the shift uh, key now uh, let's open the ellipse and its path and set the size to 1000 then uh, let's use the align tool to uh, center this layer to the center of the composition great and now we need to use an expression to make it move uh, make it move in a random way so let's hit uh, the P key to open up the position property and to create the expression let's uh, press hold down the alt key or uh, options in the on Mac and click on the stopwatch of this property now we will use the wiggle expression so let's write a uh, wiggle and in the parentheses we will set it to 2 uh, to 1 to 100 let's click here to finish the action and now uh, this layer will move in a random way let's make uh, the same thing for the scale property so select the layer press s and hold down the alt or the option key and click on the scale property right wiggle but this time let's set it to 1 and uh, 200 great and now we have something like this Next, we need to duplicate this layer, so let's press Ctrl D or Command D and change the color to some uh, darker blue color like this. Like, let's select the selection tool and move this layer uh, here. All right? Let's duplicate it using Ctrl D one more time and uh, move it here, something like this and pick another color maybe let's select this layer and move it here great let's duplicate it one more time and yeah our goal is to create a random look for the gradient all right so um, let's duplicate it one more time change the color to some red and select this layer and move it here and let's do it one more time uh, but this time use some uh, brighter color like uh, like yellow maybe yeah great and now we have some weird stuff going on in our scene but it's okay so it will be very very uh, nice so since we don't have a color uh, or a background in our scene, let's create one, right click, go to new and create new solid, let's call it BG, 
uh, make it the comp size and uh, choose some uh, bright color like this hit ok and place this layer uh, <coughs> down here and now we have something like this to make it uh, look actually like a gradient we need to create a new adjustment layer place it above all the layers and uh, search for the effect called fast box blur let's add it to our adjustment layer and change the name to blur all right and let's see uh, let's scale up the blur radius amount uh, let's set it to 200 i think it's going to be nice yeah now we have some cool gradient effect after this we need to select all this layer and pre-compose them let's name this gradient comp gradient comp and make sure uh, both are selected hit ok and now if uh, this gradient uh, moves uh, very fast for you guys uh, this is not a problem we can use uh, the stretch uh, function which is here if you don't see it right click here and go to stretch and set the stretch to 200 which make it uh, move uh, much uh, slower all right let's see how it looks yeah i think it's better and now we need to create from this gradient uh, an ellipse or a sphere you can call it so for this we use a mask and to create a mask we need to select this pre-comp and select the ellipse tool and create a mask uh, you, uh, while holding the shift key something like this now let's uh, uh, open the title action uh, grid so we can see the center of this pre-comp uh, select the selection tool and now double click on this uh, mask uh, and place it in the center like this we can zoom in and you know place the anchor point of this mask here so the sphere will be exactly in the center and um, you can scale this up a little bit while uh, selecting this point and uh, while holding a shift and control to scale it uh, from all the, uh, the points from all the something like this great and now what uh, we can do is uh, just we need to duplicate this pre comp using ctrl d and scale at the duplicated layer by um, 20 pixels so let's set it to 80 and let's continue doing that a few more times to get a, a nice result let's do it one more time and Right, great and now uh, actually we can uh, add another another one another two maybe so let's duplicate the last one and uh, now scale up this layer to 120 all right by 20 pixels let's do it another time and scale the last one to 140 awesome let's click here and uh, press the u key to close all the layers now we have some uh, nice gradient animation like this uh, yeah and now we can create the animation for the rotation property so let's select all the layers uh, and uh, hit the r key to bring up the rotation make sure you're in the beginning of the animation and uh, create the first keyframe with the value of zero and now move to second number two and uh, make it rotate one full rotation and let's move on to second number uh, four all right and make it uh, another rotation to rotate another round and let's do it uh, two more times go to second number six so uh, place the time indicator exactly here set it to three and let's do it uh, one last time go to second uh, number eight and uh, set the value to four so it uh, will make another rotation next uh, let's select uh, all the keyframes 
and convert them to AZEs or uh, from the keyframe assistant or using the F9 key and now let's go to the graph editor right click here and make sure you're in the speed graph select the keyframes and uh, make some uh, much interesting movement so let's drag this uh, handle until we see the influence of uh, 85 and now let's drag it here so we can see the influence to 85 as well uh, if you don't want to move the handles uh, you know and get and get much uh, precise influence you can do it by uh, selecting all the keyframes and then holding the alt key or the option and double click on one of the keyframes this will bring up the keyframe velocity panel and here we can uh, change the influence for both incoming and outgoing velocity it's instead of uh, dragging the handles in the graph editor all right so it's more uh, much more precise great and now and now uh, we can offset this animation all right to get a nice uh, more interesting look so let's select uh, all these keyframes besides the first one and move this uh, keyframe two frames forward but let's not do it manually let's use the useful shortcut and let's hold down the alt key or the option key on mac and uh, move these keyframes using the right arrow key on the keyboard so let's press twice on the right arrow key awesome and now let's do it with this one as well one two great and now we get some nice animation like this we already uh, starting it's starting to look uh, uh, very very good uh, after this I want to uh, teach you something cool uh, as you can see uh, this um, installation have uh, some you know a kind of stroke between the you see like a black stroke it seems like it has a black stroke between the gradients so let's try to recreate it uh, here as well and uh, actually it's very easy let's click here and press U to close all the layers and now uh, right click on, on one of the layers and uh, go to layer styles and uh, choose a stroke all right and now we can get a little stroke here let's set the color to black and the size to one all right and now uh, let's duplicate this uh, layer style so select it and press ctrl c and paste it here on the second one not on all of them so you will understand why so let's press ctrl v now let's open this layer style and so we can make uh, the changes very very easy on, on the rest of the layers later on we can parent these properties these three properties like the color of this one to the first one the size uh, to the first one the size of the first one and the opacity to the opacity of the opacity for the first one and now we controlling uh, these two precoms from this layer so if I set this to five so the second one, uh, one will grow as well or if I set this uh, the opacity to 50 it will affect to the second one as well all right so let's set it to back to 100 this one to one and now we need to copy these layer styles from this precomp because this precomp uh, got uh, the properties connected parented to this one so we copy this one select the rest of the precomps and just hit ctrl or command v to paste them all and now we're controlling from this layer and it will affect the rest of the precomps awesome and a little trick for you guys great uh, if you don't love this look with the stroke it's very easy to uh, hide it just set the opacity to zero and uh, you know it's going to disappear in all uh, layers i actually love it without the stroke so i'll leave it uh, like this uh, yeah and now uh, what we can do we can um, 
select all these precomps and precompose them together one more time let's call this uh, all uh, gradients and, and hit ok and now you can use this precomp let's say you want to place it in other precomps in on your next project so let's say you want to scale it uh, to 55 and now you uh, get this uh, thing cropped uh, to fix this you need to collapse this uh, precomp all right so if you don't see this uh, icon so click here and then just collapse this one this will uh, make the uh, rest of the layers uh, been seen in the scene so let's actually set this uh, to 65 yeah or maybe 17 great and with this uh, yeah we finished the tutorial i think you i hope you learned something new and you enjoyed this one and uh, i hope to see you in the next one for now i just uh, place the time indicator here and crop uh, shorten the work area using the m key and i let this thing uh, render and uh, see the entire animation we created so thank you for watching guys see you in the next one